Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper, we're going to get right into it. 133 favorite artists, and the criteria is below if you want to know how I determine this. But each one of these artists has an 80-minute playlist, which is the maximum length of a CD. And so I've got 133 playlists, including this artist, and I'll put it down below. Uh, if you want to support me, I have a Patreon page. Uh, but you can really support me just by watching these videos because these these videos are monetized. There's no copyright material, so it really helps me. I appreciate it if you're on board here. So this group, San Francisco, American band, uh, formed in the 1960s. So that narrows it down, doesn't it? You're probably thinking of maybe three or four bands and uh, this is a band that I have seen in concert. I saw them in 1994, March of 94. And so that was great. And I am a fan, uh, but it was slow. It was slow. When I was in high school and college, I did not like this band because I don't like, I didn't like jam bands. I didn't care for this band or or bands like the Allman Brothers, or, you know, any kind of jam bands. But I changed my mind over the years. We are talking about the Grateful Dead. Yeah, I've come to really appreciate them. The year after I saw them was the year that Jerry Garcia died, and the radio station I was listening, listening to at work suspended all programming and played nothing but the dead all day long. And after several hours of listening to their music, it really it really crept in. I think I became a really big fan the day that he died. I know, that's strange, but I listened to about six or seven hours of Grateful Dead straight, and it kind of got under my skin, and I kind of liked it. And ever since, and so yeah, I like songs like um, Ripple and es Estimated Profit is a real favorite of mine. Bob Weir sings that song. Uh, I don't have much by them anymore. I sold a lot of their music because they're easy to stream. You can get anything, but I still have this kind of hard to find uh, double live CD called 100 Year Hall which had been uh, recommended by Rolling Stone. It has some nice guitar work by Jerry Garcia. So, yeah, really nice uh, art there. I like that a lot. And the only other thing I could find in my collection is technically not a Grateful Dead album, but it's a out-of-print uh, tribute album called Stolen Roses. And this has uh, Bob Dylan, Elvis Costello, and Patti Smith on it. Bob Dylan does Friend of the Devil. Uh, Elvis Costello does Ship of Fools. And Patti Smith does Black Peter, which is a song I've come to love largely because of her cover. She kind of really got me into that song. And But, you know, I've owned Working Man's Dead and American Beauty and various things. Um, so that's it. Um, why do I like these guys? Um, yeah, I have to be in the mood for them. They're kind of laid back most of the time. Uh, but when I am in the mood, they're just this really awesome California band. And I have a playlist uh, that I made years ago just called Afternoon Jams. It's music for the afternoon. And it's really great. It's one of my all-time favorite playlists. And I have some Grateful Dead on there because they sound great in the afternoon. Yeah, and I showed up early at that concert, hung out in the parking lot. Yeah, I was there several hours. So it was an interesting experience. Yeah, Grateful Dead, number 120. Uh, let me know what you think and support me as you can. I appreciate it. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, Buen dia.